My opponent tonight co-wrote the book Lean In, was a writer for shows like The Simpsons and Late Night with David Letterman, and has written jokes for Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Wow, not many writers can transition from comedy to horror that successfully. <laughs> Nell Scovell, now welcome. Thank you for having me. Of course, now I wanna talk. In this book here, you talk a lot about being the only uh, female writer in a writer's room and helping break the glass ceiling. Can I just ask you to do me a favor before we continue? So, yeah, yeah. President Trump comes out, he attacks Jim Comey for his book, and the yeah. book becomes a bestseller. Right. So I write this book, I, I honestly thought people would attack me, and they've been so nice. They say it's funny, sure. they, they yeah. love it. Yeah. Um, and it would really help to create some controversy, so if you wouldn't mind, could you just call me a no-talent whore? <laughs> <laughs> Please? <laughs> this feels like a trap. <laughs> I'm your guest. You no, know, exactly. This, I know. Are you, are you times upping me right now? Is that what's oh, going on? No, the problem is, throughout history, when women spoke up, men tried to silence them. Mm -hmm. And I come out with this book, and at the one moment when men are thinking twice, about you know telling women we're, we're terrible and and should make them sandwiches. See, on the one hand, yeah. like I want to satisfy your demand. <laughs> but I'm not always great at satisfying women, if I'm being quite honest with you. <laughs> but you can do it, Jordan. Just Nell, I'm afraid I've looked at your book and you're a say it a, a talentless whore. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Is that... I'm gonna, can I put that on the back? I don't, I guess, <laughs> no. That's a great quote. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, uh, I really appreciate hashtag that. Hashtag yes all men. <laughs> if that can help sell some books, please. I know it takes a man to sell books, so uh, <laughs> use me however you can. But, but in all seriousness, uh, you are fairly talentless. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Unattractive in any way well, yeah, or like, form. So you yeah. wrote this all by your woman self. Is that what you're telling me? I, um, yeah. I, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, well, so why is it hard to get these women into these writer's rooms? In fact, let me say this. Yeah. You, right now, you are trying, to, one of your jobs is to try to help get women into writer's rooms. Is that correct? Yes, why it's does, a mission, not a job. It's a mission. Yes. Okay, okay, your mission is to do that. Why, why isn't there a man doing that thing for people like me? Oh. Um, well, there, are, there have been. Their names are uh, David Letterman, Jay Leno, Johnny Carson. <laughs> you just were born at the wrong time, Jordan. Yes, I, I keep saying that. I should have been born 20 years earlier, right? You've also written for uh, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. Uh, what was it like writing for humor for people like that with no sense of humor? <laughs> Well, I th actually disagree, and I think President Obama especially had an incredible sense of humor. He had great delivery. This is what I, I have. This, this, this is a, a joke you wrote that he did not read. Is that correct? Right, and this would be good examples of how untalented I am. Great. Yeah. Well, let, 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 me, let me read some of this then. <laughs> I turned 50 while in office, which meant I had to have my first colonoscopy, and guess what they found? Mitch McConnell. <laughs> That guy can obstruct anything. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you're doing there. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're implying that Mitch McConnell was up the president's ass. Yeah, maybe that's why he didn't do the joke. Yes. <laughs> you think? I'm gonna say that, that I do like. <laughs> now tell me something I already know. Can I tell you two things? Please. Okay, the first is that your forehead takes up as much space as the rest of your face. <laughs> And you have more. <laughs> and, and the second is that half of your writing staff is female, so high five. Oh, that's, Look, that's, that's no. Viacom mandated. No, I, I, yeah, no, 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 oh, no, no, no. I was so no, proud of no, you, no, Jordan. No, oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Her book is called Just the Funny Parts, Nell Scovell.